Everyone says film is dead. You read headlines and junk about film stocks being discontinued and digital camera resolution is getting a little out of hand. But then people slap on these Promis filters, vintage glass, and add grain and scuffing in the editing bay. And you just gotta wonder, why not shoot film? Here's five reasons why every photographer should shoot film, even now in 2021. The first one is vibes. It's just freaking film. It looks dang good and everyone talks about it and everyone wants it. It's that film look. You can type film look in YouTube and you will get a ridiculous amount of results in Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials, but it's all distracting from the fact that you want that sweet, sweet film look. So why not shoot the real thing? It takes a little bit of skill to learn how to nail things down in camera instead of shooting everything and editing it later, but that knowledge is delicious. I never would have imagined the colors that pop out from my film and the vibe that it brings. And I'm not just talking about colors. That missed focus can sometimes be better than tack sharp focus. Focusing manually is hard and sometimes you miss, but that character is only going to happen on manual glass. Some people adapt manual vintage glass on digital, but the film itself captured so much vibe. You get to choose your vibe and play around with your vibe. You want that super old school? Well, there's a crazy vintage camera for you. You want that sharp autofocus with film? There's a camera for you. You want that massive resolution and speed? There is a camera for you. Choose your own vibe and ride it. And definitely call me when you land a Mamiya 7. I want one. Hey team, I'm Will Cobb and I'm a film photographer located on the central coast of California and I make tons of videos about film photography and film developing. If you're into that, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the little bell to get more videos from me. It goes a long way in supporting creators and especially me with this little channel. On with number two. So number two, being present in the moment is pivotal for today's society. We are bombarded with so much noise, stress, BS in life, and it just sucks that you have to try to compete with people on IG and other social platforms. Just recently, there was all this news about the Kardashians and Photoshop, and just, just no. Throw away your computer and let me tell you about the magic of not seeing the image you just took immediately. Some would say it's scary and there is no feedback to see if you took the right shot and your framing was right, if the exposure was right, that's okay. Calm down, enjoy the moment. Look up, see nature, see your subject, interact with where you are, who you are, with what you're doing, who you're with. Be one with the moment, live in the moment and be present. There is nothing more fun than walking around with a film friend, chatting about life, shooting things that look cool and have no idea if your role will be completely blank or not. Who cares? Have fun. Number three is intention. On 35 millimeter, you have 24 to 36 shots. On medium format, you have eight to 15. Every shot costs 50 cents to over a dollar to get developed and scanned at the lab. So every shot has meaning. Now that can sound a little counterintuitive with my last tip, but hang with me here. You have time being in the moment to line up your shot the way you want it. You can even wait a moment till something moves in the frame like these birds that uh, I just had in a recent shoot of mine. I went for a walk in these sand dunes and I waited till this flock of birds was just right. And I waited and I waited and I nailed the shot. I loved almost every shot from this role because I took the time to line up my shots and think about the intention I put behind every frame. If I shoot digital, I would get home and cold through 100 to 200 shots and only find a few that I liked, but it wouldn't hold the weight of intention and care. Number four is that sweet, sweet nostalgia. Holding a vintage piece of history is freaking cool. I mean, look at this thing. Like, uh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, I think I'll take that, thank you. Some of these cameras I have shot on are like 50s and 60s and 70s. I think this thing's even older than that. Um, and it's just amazing to see them working today. Mostly I shoot on 90s film cameras like this bad boy, the Mamiya 645. Every camera you grab has a story and it was with someone for a long time before it got to you. Maybe it was even in the hands of your dad found in the closet like my father-in-law's Canon A1 with a huge dent on it. Look at this thing. Look at that dent. 
that has a story. Every little nick has a story. The nostalgic component also comes into play with the vibe where every image looks vintage almost. Sometimes modern things are in them, but something else is going on and has that vibe, that nostalgia. And lastly, number five is film is an analog physical medium. When you click the shutter, light goes through the lens and reacts with the film with that emulsion and permanently changes a physical thing. That's crazy. It exists. It is developed with analog machines and you don't even have to scan it with digital scanners. You can enlarge it with uh, analog devices. There's something to be said about being tangible, something being real and captured in the moment at the moment with the literal film that was there in the moment at that time. Seeing film negatives is super cool to think that it holds so much color and life is crazy. You can even get that film to be a positive too and that exact image was taken without color negative. That's super cool, that slide film, it's awesome. Touching and feeling analog and mechanical things, it's just freaking cool. It's just freaking film, you know? So, so stop, go right now and ask your dad or your grandpa or somebody in your family uh, if they have an old film camera lying around and maybe give film a try. Maybe you can thrift it like I did in a few of my film camera thrift haul videos or someone could let you borrow it or just give you one. Just pick it up and give it a try. So let me know what camera you find down in the comments. I would love to hear your film stories. Thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe, obviously, and I'll see you in the next video.